Hello, hello. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris and we are in the Legacy facility, specifically where, where we do a lot of our training. Now, I want to cover a specific question that's been asked quite a bit, and that is, what is this third workstation or this aluminum plate on the side of the machine? Okay. Uh, if you are new to Legacy, this will um, kind of open your eyes to what we can do with the system as a third workstation. If you're an existing Legacy customer, hopefully this will give you an idea of what you can do with this if you haven't used this uh, workstation yet. Now, when I say workstation, there's three workstations as part of the machine. We're not going to go into detail on, on all of them, um, but each workstation allows us to work on different surfaces of the part. Okay. So for example, if I have this component, it's kind of a smaller component, but if I wanted to work on this larger flat surface, I would place that on my horizontal table, that's workstation number one, and there I can then work on my flat surface. Okay. Now this next workstation is a vertical plate. Okay, we call that uh, uh, our vertical table. So if I took that same component and I was to mount this here in that vertical plate, okay, this then allows us to have access to the ends or edges of our components so that we can you know, do any detail work we want on that surface um, of the material. Now, most of the time this is used for joinery applications specifically in woodworking. You can use it for anything you want, um, but I'm gonna show you just kind of how this works um, all together um, so you know how to apply fences or different clamps and fixtures on here uh, just to give you an idea of how we can apply this to our our woodworking capabilities so the first thing is the hole pattern how do we clamp and get things onto this plate we have a hole pattern here that's a quarter 20 drilled and tapped hole pattern it's two inches by two inch spacing um, and we can apply any type of fence or, or bolt, uh, bolt pattern to that uh, the first thing is fences. We need to get the part in the machine the exact same spot every single time that comes down to a fence. There's two fences that come with the machine and that is this, ver this straight steel fence. This one's also a straight steel fence as well but allows you to actually um, pivot the fence um, from zero to 90 degrees. So if I wanted to take the same component and again angle that, okay? This gives us uh, a type of joint like this. You know, you got a mitered um, mortise or a mitered tenon, something like that. Uh, the other type of fence that we can apply here is the entire aluminum plate itself. If I loosen up these two nuts here on the bottom, I can actually angle that from zero to 90 degrees as well, giving us an angle plane along the X axis and along the Y axis. So if, if I were to combine both, that makes it so we can actually produce compound angle joints, uh, which is a very uh, a versatile thing that we can add to our, our woodworking capabilities. Um, so that's the fences. There's also even um, certain custom fences when you don't have a straight edge part. For example, I have this uh, leg that we did here for a stool and it has this curved um, edge that I need to apply to a fence. I just use the CNC to cut out this MDF fence and you can see that just fits perfectly right to the fence so that I have access to machining those surfaces that are now parallel to the machine. Uh, as those are do sliding dovetails as an example. Okay, so fences can be applied anyway. Um, the parts can be applied with clamps. Now this is a, a very common clamp that we use all the time. This one is a, a toe clamp from Incra. It's called an Incra toe clamp. Um, and this works quite nice. I use a handful of them when I'm, I'm mounting parts in place. And you can see it just makes it so I can place that anywhere I need. And then I have access to the end or edge for joinery capabilities. Um, so by combining your fences and different clamps, uh, you can mount this any way you'd like so that you can have maximum versatility when it comes to joinery, joinery capabilities. Um, the last thing is, what types of joinery can you do on this? Well, that's completely up to you. Um, if you want to get very standard joints, like, you know, mortise and tenons like this, uh, maybe you want to make them mitered. Okay, you got a mitered mortise and tenon, something like, like that. Um, or even dovetail joints and the list goes on and on. Uh, there's a great video that shows demonstration cuts of a variety of different joints that take place on this workstation, and that's our We Can Cut That video um, specifically for joinery. That's listed on our website under the Y Legacy page, uh, but if you're not there, based on where you're watching uh, this video, I will try to put that link in the description below. Uh, hopefully this has answered the question of what this vertical plate is, kind of how we use it in order to apply um, cutting to the ends or edges of our components. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.